when we were pushing the Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act through Congress as bipartisan allies, I saw Jim's devotion to the cause and his dedication to making life better for millions of Americans. Mr. Speaker, the issue before us today is not just another public policy issue. The issue before us today is a matter of life or death. For 54 million Americans suffering the ravages of mental illness and 26 million Americans suffering from chemical addiction. I'm alive and sober today only because of the access that I had to treatment following my last alcoholic blackout on July 31st, 1981. I woke up that day in a jail cell in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I'm living proof that treatment works and recovery is possible. But far too many people, far too many people in our country don't have the same access to treatment that I and other members of Congress, other federal employees have. My friend from Rhode Island and I traveled this country holding field hearings on this legislation. We heard literally hundreds and hundreds of stories of human suffering that ripped your heart out. Broken families, tragic deaths, ruined careers, shattered dreams, all because insurance companies would not provide access to treatment for mental illness and addiction for people who were in health plans. We can change that here today. It's time to make this bipartisan legislation the law of the land. The people of America cannot wait any longer for Congress to act. If you're a member of Congress, you have treatment opportunities. Like my friend from Minnesota said, he has had it, I have had it, recovery is possible. We need to end the stigma against those with mental illness. I'll always be grateful that Jim was there for me, not only as the co-sponsor of that law, but during my personal challenges with addiction as well. He was the first one to reach out, and later he stood by my side as a sponsor while I learned to navigate sobriety in the public eye. I am blessed, blessed to have Jim Ramstead in my life, and you are blessed to have him as your congressman. And this nation's been blessed to have his leadership on this issue of coverage for addiction. Because keep in mind, the bill that Jim mentioned is called the Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act. And Paul Wellstone believed in them both being in the final bill. But it was Jim's effort in the House to really make that a reality. So I want to say thank you, my older brother. I am so grateful for having had you beside me as we trudge this road together and for having the ability to fight with you to ensure that our fellow Americans who are seeking the chance to live in recovery as well, could also have that chance.